So COVID-19 has done a lot, it has brought us into places we've never been before and it has allowed us to do things we've never done before. So first thing first, um, I love farming, I enjoy doing it. Um, during the COVID crisis, however, there was a gentleman in Trelawney who is an egg farmer who found himself with a lot of eggs and don't know what to do with them. So he started to give away chickens, started to give away eggs. I heard about it and decided, wow, I could get chickens for free that gave eggs. Long and short, I didn't get none of those chickens because it's all the way in Trelawney. But then it prompted me to do Project COVID-19 COVID Project 1. Project 1 here, and this is my version of what a layer of fall code looks like after I did research on YouTube thanks to those other persons in the US who have done projects like this. Here behind me is the home for what I'm doing for six layer falls at this time. It is eight feet high by 12 feet long and four feet wide. What I'm gonna do now is take you through the features of it from the outside and then you go on the inside to look at some other stuff. So let me take you all the way that way. So what we have here is the the egg house. So the layer is normally going what is known as a hatch and they go in there and lay eggs as you can see it. So it's four areas inside there, right? That the chickens will go in and lay the eggs. If you realize how it is designed, where you can, can see it extended out from the building. So how this is designed with this cover here is that without me having to go inside the fowl coop to retrieve the eggs, I'll be able to come open this area, retrieve the eggs from the, the den area without disturbing the chickens. Right? Then here, this cupboard looking door is the housing. This is where they sleep at night. Now, this fowl coop was built with a lot of ventilation in mind and the ease of accessing the cube without having to go inside the cube through the main door so here this will remain closed for most parts but if it is that i need to ventilate the cube so that i get more here then i can simply open it and it will remain open this mesh door will remain closed so the chickens will be protected on the inside while getting maximum air if you look on this side you see the air for the for the laying of eggs right um i will be putting in the two piece of posts in there the root what they call a roost up above so that they can go up there and perch and then if you come over there is that door and i'm going to operate the door from outside that can open and close all right so come around here so what i did was that's the door there and this is the card that controls the door it's on a pulley system if you come around here you'll realize pulley system, pulley system. so if i pull on it from outside let them out or in and then close back my plan is to go automated i've been doing some research and there are the automated doors made for this purpose that has a timer that's my ultimate plan to put it onto the timer and have it done now as you can see there is an aki tree here and the aki tree is in the middle of the cove why initially i wanted to go behind the aki tree but then when i looked at my space it would not have been sufficient space so i decided to build around it so the aki tree actually goes through the roof of the cooking coop so from the door, there is a ladder system that comes down with each rung being three inches apart from the other that the chickens will be able to walk down and access. So we are now going inside. All right, so on the door, um, what I've done is put a 
chain link so it can go to this point has a spring reaction to bring it back that's one of the yeah, nice features of the door it has a lock and two latches to secure it and we have, of course we have sawdust for the chickens to walk on now if you come inside so that four inch pipe system that you see over there with a cut out that is our feeding bin and what I will show you on the outside is how the feed will be supplied to it automated and my mechanism my setup is for me to have limited access inside here and to allow for everything that the chickens need to be inside without me having to come inside right here is our water system so there is a 55 gallon drum system that comes in to this two inch pipe here as you can see the the weighted water tray is now operating from that through that blue tube coming off the pipe that supplies it the plan is why we have that two inch pipe in place is to have a different setup so in the future when i make that adjustment we will have pipes placed inside that two inch pipe and we'll take back down that big water tray to have because my problem with the water tray is because it has the water open it collects dirt over time and when they bounce it it goes splash up and wet up the area the one that i'm going to put on is the miniature water pot that they click on and get the water in all right so from here you can see that bin up top so that bin up top if you look right down in there you'll see a pipe that's not yet connected so what that pipe will do is i'm going to put a flex hose onto it that it leads into the four inch pipe and that will supply the feed so i'll climb up on the platform here up on up from around the back so i climb up on the platform and dump the feed in the bin up there and then it will supply gravity feed into the feeding tray so that's my project for now if you want we can come around here So this is the area that I work from. So everything is done from outside. That's a platform up there that I can walk on. Presently, I use a ladder to get up there. I might come with an improvised way to build a, a ladder that I can fold away, preferably, so that I can still access the area. So this is my COVID-19 project one. I enjoyed it. It took me several weeks, but I'm really enjoying it, and I'm looking forward to getting my chicken this weekend so I was fortunate that when I went to buy the chickens I stole that you're supposed to order in September you won't get your chickens until the following year somebody because of COVID-19 fell through with their order I was called and I'm able to get my chickens so our next video on chicken coop COVID-19 project one will be when we get the chickens and they're home and we start to watch them and monitor them looking forward to seeing you again